Hey, this is Kimberly, Northern Cali girl, and um, if you guys don't know, I also have, uh, besides my regular Facebook account, I also have a Facebook account that is entitled Obese to Healthy, and it's my VSG account. So I posed a question today on my Obese to Healthy Facebook account about head hunger because it's something that I've been experiencing lately. So, today is May 4th of 2015. So I looked it up in the dictionary that head, like our head up here, we all know it's our brain, but the definition in the dictionary said the chief sense organ and mouth. So think about it. Our senses drive us to head hunger and our mouth salivates when we see things that are appealing or that we remember tasting good. So in the dictionary, it brings out that hunger is a craving or urgent need for food or a specific nutrient. So to me, head hunger is, hmm, that looks good. Mmm, I remember that tasting really good before I had surgery. But sometimes things that I like before surgery, I can't stand now. And that's the weirdest thing. Like, that's really trippy. So my personal opinion or thoughts on this are is that no matter what food item is, you know, being craved, my tummy is not always hungry, but my mind is hungry. And I have to remember and retrain my brain that my tummy is the one that's in control now because of such restriction, not my brain. So kind of like the bad part that I think is, is that my eyes, you know, my eyes <laughs> and my heart see something and then my brain kicks in that it wants it also. So I gotta get this that my tummy is in control, not my heart, not my eyes, and not my mind. And I think that that's the, probably like the biggest thing because sometimes I feel like my mind and my eyes and my heart gang up on my tummy. And that's not the way it works. My tummy is in control because it has such restriction due to the VSG weight loss surgery. So when I posed the question earlier today to obese to healthy, these are some of the replies that I got. Very interesting. Head hunger is a desire. Is it poor choices? Does head hunger ever go away? Or is it bad habits? You know, and I kind of think that it's all wrapped together, uniquely intertwined like a spider web. It all, it's all married together. <laughs> so that was just, you know, my thought today and I'm going to be doing more videos and I'm going to have certain subjects that I want to discuss. So yeah, um, you know, Maybe before I never really realized when I was overweight, obese, that a lot of my hunger was head hunger. Well, guess what? Um, I still have head hunger and my eyes have hunger and my heart has hunger. So um, that's, I mean, something that I'm always going to have to um, to think about and to be proactive about is to how to curb head hunger. So what are your, um, what do you do when you have head hunger? Like me, I try to like go for a walk or I go do ironing or go clean the house or go take the dog for a dog walk. I might go take a nap. Um, the way my house is set up, my living room looks into the kitchen and there is the refrigerator. So sometimes I literally have to remove myself, excuse me, I have to literally remove myself from the living room. Um, and I also try to remember that, you know, maybe I'm not hungry, but 
maybe I'm thirsty. And so I always try to make sure that I have my water. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. And if you want, please go to obese to healthy. It's all one word. It's not separated. There's no numbers. It's obese to healthy. Like my page. If you want to make some comments, please do so. Thank you for watching my YouTube video channels. If you don't, um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Um, look at some of my other videos. I had six months plus on my journey before I even got approved for surgery. I had VSG September 30th of 2014 with Dr. Shadel and Dr. Benjamin. I mean, yeah, Dr. Benjamin Gadget. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up their names. Okay, let me start over. I had surgery with Dr. Benjamin Shadel and Dr. Ruby Gadget from Sacramento BMI.